Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. I know it was a lot with those that tea from Orange County, uh, but now we need to go a little bit up and come here to Beret Hills because we need to talk about Erica Jane. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this mess. Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Girl. Guess what happened at midnight on the day of my birthday, June 14. Okay, guess what happened? It's, it was not a birthday gift, I can tell you that. Erica Jane is um, claiming, or I don't know if this is an appeal. No, this is like a claim, whatever. She is opposing to return the earrings remember the very very pair of earrings i think i think like 1.5 million dollars or something like that that they are now in hands of like a trustee or something and that uh the i'm sorry it's like a bank or something and the trustee want those earrings to sell them so they can start paying some people back and remember how at the time she was like, oh, she is collaborating. Yeah, she returned. She gave the earrings, okay? We're going to see how she can help. Well, no. Now she's not doing any of that, okay? And she's just uh, filed an opposition saying that she doesn't want to release the earrings, okay? Apparently, this all of this is coming from Ronald Richards, Okay. And he is destroying her on Twitter, to be honest. The first part is Erica Jane earrings opposition. Erica Jane comes out swinging with actual testimony from her opposing the motion to return the earrings. She claims she owes $2.2 million for 2019 to California in taxes. Plus, the earrings were a gift replacement from an insurance claim from a prior bur burglary. Okay, so she doesn't want to return the earrings. Let me read you this part right here. It says, um, in late 2021 or early 2022, I heard for the first time that the trustees in the Girardi and Kissy bankruptcy alleged that the earrings given to me by Tom Girardi as a gift in 2007 were bought with money from Girardi and Kissy client trust account, which allegedly did not belong to Girardi and Kissy or Tom Girardi. At all times, I have, I have been willing to put the earrings in an escrow until a final court order is issued regarding who is entitled to the earrings. Well, then why are you opposing, baby girl? In fact, based on the agreement with the trustee, the earrings are currently held in a safe deposit box to which the trustees has access. I agree that the earrings may be held in the safe deposit box until such time as there is a final ju judicial determination as to ownership of the earrings. Since the time of the bankruptcy filing against Tom Girardi and Girardi Akisi, I have been named and had to defend myself in three pending lawsuits, one by the Girardi and Kisi trustees and two state court cases in which plaintiffs are attorneys who claim that their own fee is split from Tom Girardi and Girardi and Kisi for cases held hand led on Gerardi and Kisi on late May 2022. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, and then on late May 2022, my business manager received an income tax due notice bill from the California franchise tax, 
board dated from May 10, 2022, which states that I own $2.2 million in taxes for tax year 2019. I am in the midst of trying to figure out the basis of this tax bill with the assistance of my business manager, who is also an accountant. I don't have the ability to pay the FTB tax bill. I also do not know if the FTB is claiming any sort of lien on my assets, which includes the diamond earrings i declare under per year per year blah 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 okay so then um the hearing on the earrings will be on june 28th so we will know what is going to happen there okay and in another post uh ronald richard says here is erica jane's midnight declaration isolated she says she just received the ftb tax bill in may 2022 of course if erica jane updates aj global on files returns this will grow erica jane omits from her declaration she already personally participated in a tax audit for prior years and finally he says for erica jane to suggest in her opposition that she just found out about her tax bill that is completely false we posted this 15 months ago this shows her taxes on from her 2011 to 2013 AG Global Audit plus her 2019 taxes. She knows she filed a joint return. She is liable. Okay. So even if either if she wants the earrings for herself or she wants the earrings to pay for her taxes. One thing is for sure, she doesn't want the earrings to go and pay for any of the money that they allegedly stole from all the victims out there. I told you from the beginning, she was not going to let this happen, okay? Girl, you could... She keeps doing the most. Honestly, I can't with her. Um, I'm with Garcelle. She annoys the fuck out of me. But I'm telling, like, girl, sell the... She would have sold the earrings, pay at least the $2 million from the airplane crash victims. She will be a freaking national hero by now. But her suburb and her, um, how you say that, like, like she wants everything for herself. She wants everything for herself. She doesn't care about anything. She doesn't care about anyone. And she will fight for these earring diamonds until the very end. I just really hope that whoever is presiding this thing is doing the right thing for the victims. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below about this whole situation. Um, do you think that Erica Jane will let the earrings go do you think that she give she will keep firing for it i'm telling you erica jane is not gonna go to jail for stealing money from these victims because they knew how they did everything and there there will never be enough proof but i'm guessing she will end up going to jail for like tax fraud or something like that i i think that's the next move it will come somehow somewhere it will just happen so let me know, and like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya! Bye!